Thank you, uh, Carhela. Minister, I was asked to speak this morning on this PMB, and to be honest, I didn't know what to say because how do you explain to parents of profoundly deaf children that government policy and for the sake of 18,000 euros to provide a second cochlear implant is not going to happen? And I tried to imagine what it would be like to be plunged into a world of silence because I haven't experienced that. None of us in this chamber have experienced that. So it's very hard to understand what those children have to go through on a daily basis. And Chair, if you would bear with me, I want to try and give some example of what those children have to endure because of a lack of funding or a lack of political will or commitment to provide the funds, which could actually make a huge difference to people's lives. And I want to do so by, for the next two minutes, actually saying nothing and getting some understanding of what those children have to endure. Minister, that's two minutes of silence. These children, unless there's a change in policy, unless there's a commitment given, unless funding is provided, 12.8 million, it is not much in the bigger scheme of things. Unless that is provided, those two minutes, which was an awkward silence for us in this chamber, could become a lifetime silence for those children. So I would plead with you, Minister, on a human level, to do the right thing.